peace to my YouTube family. Um, I wanted to talk about the art of distraction. Um, in particular, I wanted to talk about political programs, you know, like these right wing, left wing pundits and stuff like that. Um, I know a lot of people get caught up in, you know, what this one said or what Bill O'Reilly said or what Rush Limbaugh said and you know they, they'll make some outrageous statement and then people will get all up in arms or Sean Hannity and um, you know the rest of these idiots I mean there's so many I can't name them um, the left wing the left wing part is more you know like I, I tend to lean more toward the left in my um you know overall philosophy so um even though they're, they're both like you know the same coin you know <laughs> different heads on the same coin but the right is the more outrageous version but you know the way that I deal with that in terms of um the way that I see these guys is like getting angry at Bill O'Reilly or what Bill O'Reilly says or getting angry at what Rush Limbaugh or Sean Hannity or Glenn Beck or whoever, you know, just name them. What they say is sort of the equivalent of getting mad at um, Keanu Reeves for being Neo or, or getting mad at um, Brad Pitt in his latest movie. It's like, I don't, you know, <laughs> he's an actor playing a role. And that's what these guys are. I mean, John Stewart said it best when he was he was on that defunct show Crossfire, where they had this fake left right paradigm and they they act like they're on both sides of the fence and they go at it for like a half an hour or something and or an hour or whatever it was. And he said he was on the show and he was criticizing the show. If you do a search on YouTube, you'll see it. Um and basically, he, he made a comment that was just resonated with me, and I kept it to this day, and I'm going to use it in this. He said, what those guys do is they're like to news journalism what professional wrestling is to athleticism. And it's not a knock on professional wrestling. I love wrestling. That's why I love these political shows. Because, you know, when I see Rush Limbaugh, you know, it's almost like the Iron Sheik is coming out. You know, or, 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 you know, like whoever the bad guy is, he's coming down the ring, everybody's booing, you know, he's giving him the finger, da-da-da-da. He's there to incite the crowd, you know, and that's, that's what he does. You know, if you're a great bad guy or a great heel in wrestling, that's what you do. I remember at one point, The Rock was one of my favorite characters. You know, so when I see the Rush Limbaugh character and I see the, the, the Bill O'Reilly character and the Sean Hannity character, you know, I ask, you know, I personally think these guys have sad cards. I think if you really, I don't know, maybe somebody out there can do some research, but I, if you can do the research, I lay a bet that Bill O'Reilly, Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, all of these guys are from the screen, they have Screen Actors Guild dues that they pay. I'm pretty sure of that. I mean, if somebody wants to bet me, I'll, I'll bet you a penny on it. I'm not, only because I'm not that interested in, in you know, it's, to me it's like people who want to argue whether wrestling is fake or real or not. It's a stupid discussion. It's like arguing over whether James Earl Jones was Darth Vader. I mean, it's, what, what sense does that make? Everybody with a, with a brain knows that this stuff is not real. So why am I going to get upset about it? And this is all to distract you with a bunch of bull... This is, and another thing that really makes me believe that these guys are actors, especially with Fox News, it's not actually, actually journalism involved with how they present their show. And this is, this is another important thing that people have to realize. Whenever you yell action and you yell cut, you're dealing with a show. And lo and behold, the news falls under that action cut paradigm. It's all a show. It's all entertainment. 
So just look at it that. Don't get distracted by it. Don't get caught up. This one made a racial comment. This one said something inflammatory to gays. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, if the Iron Sheik comes out and he says, Tehran, Iran, number one, America, puh. What do you, that's what he's supposed to do. So why are you getting all upset when you hear Rush Limbaugh, you know, says um, something about Colin Powell endorses Barack Obama and it has everything to do with race. That's the same thing as the Iron Sheik screaming Tehran, Iran. No difference. So, you know, watch it like I do for entertainment. I love I love Keith Oberman. I love Rachel Maddow. Um, I love watching their shows because they're funny and they're entertaining. I don't watch it because I feel, you know, obviously they have a bias toward one political point of view, but they're entertaining. Even Bill O'Reilly, in a weird sort of way, is entertaining. Rush Limbaugh, these guys are comedians. They're, they're, they're actors. They're entertainers. Sean Hannity. I mean, if you take them seriously, they might actually, I mean, it's like, don't, as a matter of fact, don't take them seriously because I don't want you going out and seeing Bill O'Reilly in a restaurant and you want to beat him up because of his character. That's a character that he plays on television. Sean Hannity plays a character on television. Don't be like these, these idiots who run up on these soap, ac soap opera actors and actresses and want to beat them up because, you know, they left so-and-so on the show. So just, you know... Take everything within its context. Um, ow. Wow. I did this in a relatively short period of time. I guess because that's all it really deserves. So anyway, um, I hope the YouTube boycott worked. I did my part. I wasn't on the um, YouTube um, the 19th, the 20th, and the 21st. I only got on it on the 19th just to log off. Because, you know, when I start my system up, I'm automatically in it. So I just logged off. And I'm anxious to see um, what effect that had on the um, YouTube community because that new policy is absolute, utter bullshit. And um, I agree with the amazing atheists. It's a bunch of BS and people need to do something about it. So um, that's all I got to say for today. Peace. I'm out. One.